friends. We did it. Can you believe it? That that was awesome, Kenny. Good job. He ha he planned this all really well because we were really concerned because every once in a while we have issues with our online uh, streaming because this is different than when I do online at home. So just a heads up. So uh, we're going to give it a second. And I, for some reason, can't see my chats, Kenny, so I'm going to move this up so I can't see myself, which is probably good. So good morning, my friends. We are on the Pacific Coast uh, in California, so it is 11.03 right now. Those of you on the East Coast, 11.12.12, it's a little after 2. Those of you in between are in between, and those of you internationally, I don't even know what time it is for you. I just want to say hello and welcome. First off, uh, before, if you miss any of this, and I'll mention this a couple times today, if you miss any of this viewing, it's okay because it's going to be recorded and you'll be able to watch it as often as you want, okay? Heads up. So, hello my friends. Welcome to uh, our first ever free online event for our 10th anniversary. Uh, I cannot believe that we've been doing this for 10 years. Uh, that's pretty crazy. Uh, just a heads up, this is what we do when we do our free online, um, when we do our online classes that you pay for, that you get the goodies and all that stuff in the mail. So we wanted you to see, if you've never done one of our online classes before, we wanted you to see what it looks like when we do it. So we actually have three cameras. I have one right in front of me. I have one off to the side going at an angle looking here and I have one right above me. So there's three different views you're going to see throughout this event. Uh, you probably won't see the one above me until we actually start doing something creative, you know what I mean? But uh, usually you'll probably just see mostly the front one first. Um, I am trying to pay attention on uh, the chat, but it's way over there. And if I look over there, then I'm not really looking at you. So I am gonna try to pay attention. Dina is on hand to answer any questions that come up if I miss them. So uh, and we're getting a lot of happy anniversaries. Uh, thank you very much. Time flies when you are having fun. Yes, it does, Barb. I can't believe it. I, I Honestly, I'm gonna take just a minute and just say, wow, I can't believe it. Uh, we started this company in 2009 uh, over the summer, we kind of said, okay, okay, what are we going to do? We got together with, uh, it, and a lot of it was all God stuff because my, what, and, and we'll start it with this because this is kind of a brief history. Uh, this is what our whole company is based on. Back in probably July of 2009, we were, Ken and I and our family were at our cousin's birthday party, and I was telling my uncle, who happens to also be named Ken, which is funny. I was telling Uncle Ken how people were emailing me after I, um, my, the job I used to work at uh, had closed. And I was, I was unemployed, not unemployed, I was just a mom, back to being a mommy again. And I just took a year off to do nothing, I mean, just be my mom, be a, a mommy. And I was telling my uncle, I said, Uncle Ken, people keep emailing me and saying they miss my videos, they miss, I have a hair right here. It's freaking me out. Okay, I miss my, I miss your videos. I, you know, what are you gonna do next? What? Because keep in mind, over ten years ago, people weren't doing videos. I was doing YouTube videos twelve years ago, so that was a long time ago, and people weren't doing very many crafty videos back then. And so I told my uncle Ken, I said, Uncle Ken, what do they want me to do? And he looked at me, and he's a Christian too, and he's a believer, and he looked at me and he said, Stephanie, start your own company. And I looked at him and I went, are you kidding me? I'm a mom. I know I can't start a company. I, I wouldn't know what to do. And, and Ken and I, my Ken and I thought about it a lot after that day. And we prayed about it a lot. We, we thought that if we could do a Christian company based on Christian principles, based on God's word, literally. I mean, we, we just said, that's how we're gonna run our company. We're gonna do everything legitimately we're gonna I mean this this is this is gonna sound weird to you but this is all true um you know we get a lot I mean this is crazy but we get a lot of cash you know at the conventions we go to we pay taxes on every dollar we make we we literally do it all by the book I mean l from start to finish and we pray for our club members we pray for our customers it that's just who we are and God's blessed us, and, and so we always say, and this actually, this sign normally is in my kitchen. Uh, it says a dare and a prayer, because we always say that we started the company on a dare and a prayer. Uncle Ken dared us, and we prayed a lot about it. And uh, so that was like the beginning. Uh, when we started the stamp club, let me move that. When we started the stamp club, 
my goal, so we opened September 1st of 2009. That was our first day. When we started the Stamp Club, my goal, it, my, my dream was to have 50 club members. Well, I can't tell you how many club members we have now, but we have more than 50. <laughs> and it's been a journey. It's been so exciting. It's been so fun. Uh, we travel to approximately 20 five events a year our team we have a great team i have great employees i have an amazing design team and we have design team members come and go we've had employees come and go uh i think we have the strongest team right now and i'm really proud to say that um i am going to try to look at your your names and stuff but uh oh debbie says we need to have a dare and a prayer stamp that is a fantastic idea i think that's a really good idea uh so I, I made a list of all the things I want to kind of mention before um, we really do anything. Uh, so 10 years ago, it's funny because going back in history, 10 years ago we, start, we officially started the company on September 1st, 2009. In the month of September, I also started working at Sizzix uh, in their research and development. I uh, would go in once a week and they knew ahead of time that I had started this company. Um, we're giving good history right now. Don't worry, it's all good history. Uh, they knew back then that I started the company. They, they were okay with that. They wanted me, they wanted their research and development team to have a crafter's perspective, kind of. They wanted to, I mean, you know, they have all these engineers and all these great people working for them, but really no end users. And they knew I was an end user. And so the director of research and development uh, called me in and uh, wanted me to work for them full time. And I laughed and I said, no, 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 I just started a company. You know, I have other things going on. So we compromised on one day a week. So I would go in every Tuesday, they'd put something in front of me and I would test it. I would write up reports. Uh, I tested competitors' products. I, it was a great job, and I loved that job. I loved my time in the research and development team. Um, they have an amazing team, and I loved being a part of it. From that, uh, relationships were formed. I, ha I mean, I call a lot of those people I worked with friends to this day. A lot of them were at my daughter's wedding two years ago. Uh, it's just, it was a, gr it was a great relationship. Uh, during that time, I was also talking a lot when I was at Sizzix, I was also talking a lot with the marketing director and uh, he decided, between the two of us, we decided I should start my own line with Sizzix and license my artwork with Sizzix. And so there, uh, what, I brought a lot of dye technology to Sizzix. I brought the, um, and I made a list because I can't remember, I brought the flip-its, the stand-ups, the step-ups, the drop-ins, the fold-its, and the stamper secret weapon. Oh! Uh, I'm really proud about it. Oh, and also my biggest claim to fame, which uh, looks a little funny now because I've, I've covered the logo because it hurts too much to see it now, but uh, the magnetic platform. They didn't believe me when I told them there was a market for it, and the director of R&D stood behind me, and we had to convince the upper crust people there that we needed it, and now we have it in three different sizes, which I'm very proud of that. That's probably my favorite thing. Uh, I worked on a lot of other projects uh, there that they probably would rather me not talk about, so I won't. Uh, I'm trying to stay nice. Let's see. Moving on, uh, so I was working uh, four days a week at the Stamps of Life. Ken was a UPS driver. He was a UPS driver for what, 23, 24 years, Kenny? 23, 24 years, he in 2012 left UPS to work for us full time, which was a big jump for us. Uh, we prayed a lot about that again, because that was like, wow, you know, I mean, to lose those benefits, to work for ourselves full time, uh, we didn't know if our relationship would survive, we knew it would. But it was just a big, big jump for us to be fully self-employed. Uh, it's funny because Back then, I'm going to back up just a little tiny bit. Um, back then, it was interesting because we worked out of a one bed, uh, out of our, our house was a little tiny four bedroom house, and we worked out of the extra bedroom in our house. We ended up, before we moved out of there and got a warehouse, we ended up with products in every room in our house including our daughter's bedrooms, including our daughter's bathroom, uh, in our closets, in our bedroom, 
under my children's beds we had product. We literally outgrew our one extra bedroom. Down the hall we'd have boxes of product. We put in these industrial shelves in our house, in the hallway, and we'd pull orders. So Ken would work full time at UPS about 11 hours a day roughly and come home and you usually ship about six or seven hours and do other things for our company. He was working an average of probably 20 hours a day. Uh, luckily, the man doesn't need much sleep <laughs> because I, I remember licking envelopes. We used to lick all the envelopes and tape them down and put the stamps on them. Uh, so that was back in the day. Uh, then oh, he left UPS and we actually moved into a warehouse, which was nice. And we actually moved into a new home which was extra nice because it was bigger. <laughs> uh, it's funny though, my mom always used to say that uh, we had a bedroom business because we worked out of our extra bedroom and she'd tell her friends that we had a bedroom business and that we made videos. Now think about that for a second. Telling your friends that we work in a bedroom and we make videos, that doesn't work well with people that don't know what we're doing. <laughs> So we got a kick out of that. So finally my mom understood once Ken left UPS that yes, we do have a real job. We do own a real company. Uh, it took my mom a long time ago, a long time to get into that idea that we were actually self-employed. Uh, after Ken left UPS, uh, approximately we're guessing about 2013, we started the Die Hard Club where we have dies that match our stamps. Uh, that was really fun. We later introduced our kit club. So we have three official, well actually technically we have four clubs, right? We have the stamp club, which is $11.95 a month. And that price has never changed in 10 years. Just a heads up, that price has never changed in 10 years. Our costs have gone up, employment, uh, our payroll has gone up, everything has gone up. We have not changed that price. So when you sign up for the club, your price is, is static. It's going to stay. It's not going to ever go up as long as you're in the club. Eventually, you know, our financial advisors are telling us you need to raise the price. And we're like, no, no, no. But eventually we'll have to. But as long as you're in the club, that price will not change. Uh, so then we, so we have the stamp club, then we have the die hard club where you get the stamps and the dies that match. Then we have the kit club, which is a box of goodies sent to you each month. And then we also have the gold club. So the gold club is all of it together, all of our clubs together, which is really exciting. Uh, so we, like I said, we traveled to 26 events uh, all across the United States. In the meantime, also Sizzix was sending me to teach classes as well. Um, I've traveled to South Africa and taught. I've taught, I've taught in Australia, the United Kingdom I demonstrated. I was also on QVC UK in the United Kingdom. I was also on the Shopping Channel in Canada. Uh, let's see, oh, I went to Puerto Rico a couple times to teach, uh, all through Canada and all through the United States. I think that's it, I think. Uh, let's see, what? Ken's like making faces at me. Oh, okay. <laughs> Can I see the dog? I cannot see the dog. Failing is the dog's um, fence up so she can't disappear? Okay, so apparently the dog is that way. Ken's worried the dog's gonna hightail it out. Uh, let's see. Now you got me all confused, Ken. Uh, he, he, okay, so I've traveled all around the world, uh, blah, 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 and let's see. See, once my, my train of thought gets done. Uh, okay, um, since then, we have released our own, not only do we have our own stamps and dies and card bases and things like that, we also have our own ink pads, our own markers, our own card stock, our own pattern paper, which I said I'd never have, and now I release a pattern paper pad every month. I said I'd never do that, so Faylene and I have learned to never say never, ever again. We've released our own embellishments, which include felt items, wood items, sticker items, puffy stickers, you name it. We've also recently released our first stencil and we're using our first stencil later in this class or this event. Uh, let's see, our best selling product, and I meant to have it one here with me and I don't have it, is our box card die. That was our most um, best, I, I'm guessing it's our best seller, Ken could probably argue that, I don't know. But I think it's our best seller. I've never, I didn't like look up the stats because that'd be math and I don't do math. But uh, the box card and I actually ended up taking that on HSN as well too. Uh, so recently I went on HSN, uh, exactly a year ago about, I went on HSN which was very exciting. We do not have any new orders from HSN so we are praying about that. Uh, God's taken us in a lot of different directions. 
we're not quite sure uh, where that, what that direction is. Our company's doing great. We're doing fantastic. I know a lot of people are a little concerned. We're doing fantastic. We're fine. We're fine. Uh, we, I'm no longer involved with Sizzix uh, because of the situation at hand. Uh, if you don't know about that, you can go to scrapbookupdate.com. I'm not going to talk about it because I don't want to do that. Uh, also, uh, we're no longer going to be involved in ClearSnap, our color box company that does ink pads, because they're going out of business. <laughs> <laughs> when it rains, it pours. But that's okay. I'm already in contact with two new ink pad companies and I'm getting samples almost daily now and we're gonna get that fixed, don't worry. So I'm excited about that. So it's a new relationship, which I'm excited about. Uh, I am gonna show you a few sneak peeks in class, in this little class right now. Are there any uh, questions? How long has Faylene been with us? Faylene, how long have you been with us? Uh, Full-time. Full -time. She's been with us five years full time, and who asked that? I want to know. Honey Pot Girl asked, Marcy is her name. Uh, Faylene's been with us five years, but you've been doing something with us for nine years. So she's our longest official employee. However, oh, but Amy, our web designer, has been with us the entire time. Uh, finding her was a fluke, or actually, it's a, it was definitely a God thing. She's a Christian as well. She's um, been with our website from the beginning. We've had different website designer uh, developers, but she's in charge of writing up all the um, conditions and and she makes everything live on the website she lives in Atlanta uh, she she like does all the nitty-gritty the it's almost math if you ask me so uh, oh they want to see you failing come here they want to see you I think I warned her about this did I warn you No. oh sorry I didn't warn her I warned Ken but failing's here can you it's like yeah, not I, easy I, I okay so this is failing um, I always say you can't see yourself because I have to look at the chat but uh, I always say that Faylene is my left hand because I'm left-handed. See, you got to talk loud; they can't hear you. I'm left-handed. There you go. See, I have a <laughs> mic on. You don't have a mic on. So Faylene's left-handed. I always say Dean is my right hand and Faylene's my left hand because this is a team effort. I people think that I can do this on my own, and and that's funny. You guys send emails to us thinking I read them. Sorry, I don't. Faylene reads 99.9 percent .9 of them. Uh, I, if, if, if I answered all the questions, I told Ken this the other night, if I answered all the questions I get through social media alone, I wouldn't have this job. Because I would be spending about six hours a day answering your questions and emails on, or direct, I don't even look at the direct messages. Don't ever direct message me. Email Faylene at the office. Because, yeah, Faylene will take care of you. I can't take care of you. I don't know what she does, okay? She does stuff with our customers. I, 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 I have to focus on creative stuff. So if you've ever uh, emailed me, or, well, not emailed, because Faylene will get that. But if you've ever direct messaged me or messaged me or instant message or whatever it is on social media, I don't get it, okay? I don't see it, I don't, nobody really sees it. It just goes unread, so don't do that, okay? Um, you want an answer, or don't ask us a question on Facebook, go to our website and answer, ask it there, because then it'll, we can guarantee it's gonna get answered, okay? Because literally, if I paid attention to all of that, I couldn't do what I do. It would take about six hours a day, <laughs> I can't do it. So, do you have anything you wanna say? Um, have a great time at the event today. I'm gonna go do some work. Yeah, she's working. <laughs> she's gotta go Bye. back to work. <laughs> oh, Cookie, come here, Cook. Up, oh, no, come here, come here. Faylene, will you hand me the dog? So I'm gonna let you see Cookie because she's being naughty. Um, she had a little accident on Sunday. I didn't even tell you this yet, Faylene. Um, put her right here, I'll get her. Um, she jumped off of our little fence at our house. Our neighbor put her on the fence in between our houses and she jumped off. And we thought we were gonna go to the vet, but she's been she's okay. I gave her pain medicine, and she's fine. So this is Cook. Everybody say hi to Cookie. Um, Cookie's been around uh, our house nine and a half years, so we got her a little bit after we started the company. Cook. And I honestly still think, according to my tax accountant, she is not a tax deduction, but I still think she should because she does more just about as many videos as I do. But she's not. So everybody say, oh, uh, somebody's saying, Faylene, thank you for helping me sign up for the clubs. That was Gloria. Um, oh, Kathy Smith says Ken needs to be um, on video today. I have warned him about that. Um, Sarah asked if my daughter has returned to Florida, from Florida. Yes, my daughter, um, so a little bit of history. Uh, my youngest daughter last Monday is 22, and she got a text from work saying, we're in California, don't forget. She got a text from uh, work saying, we need you in Miami tomorrow. So she flew to Miami, 
and they were opening a new store, so she needed to help them because they needed some help. And uh, she got there, and as you know, um, Hurricane Dorian's coming, or was coming, and so Friday night, uh, she left Florida on an emergency plane ticket. Uh, her, her work was able to get her to Denver, and Ken and I used our airline points to get her from Denver to California. So she was, she was literally traveling for about 18 hours to get home. She is home safely, thanks for asking. Uh, she is home safely, uh, planning her tr return trip to uh, Miami. Her job's not done there, she needs to go back. They're trying to figure out, Ken, you didn't even know that yet, I, got, I heard from her today. They're trying to figure out as soon as all the, sa all the issues are gone and all the flights are back to normal, she'll be going back uh, for how long, we don't know. Uh, so that's, uh, Cookie, uh, that's Katie. Um, let's see, uh, Cookie is adorable, I know, isn't she adorable? I just love her so much, I love her so much. Uh, let's see, Kirsten is teaching sixth grade, uh, loving it. She only has to, she's only teaching five classes a day and there's six periods, so she gets an extra extra one just to prep and she says all elementary school teachers are getting ripped off because they don't get that extra time to prep which she's true which is right uh, she's opened the sixth grade at her school because it's a brand new school and um, this is the first year they've had sixth grade so it's exciting it goes up to eighth grade so it's kindergarten through oh, actually preschool through eighth uh, so cook's doing well uh, oh everybody uh, I mean Kirsten's doing well okay can I put you down see she would just stay here all day she really would but can I put you in your bed can you lay in your bed? Lay in your bed. I know you guys only watch me to watch her. I know that. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so I'm going to see, let's see. Um, somebody had to listen so because they're driving. That's fair. Uh, so how many of you, just for kicks, I know a lot of you are watching the chat. And by the way, I apologize. I'm probably going to start sweating like a pig or something because we have some of the lights on and we have a fan on me. But it's supposed to be, Phelan said 100 degrees where she lives today. Uh, I think it's only going to be about 90, 95 here. But uh, with the lights on, it's probably 200. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, we, uh, Kathy wants to know, know if we're going to change a color, the color scheme. No, colors are all going to stay the same. So if you have, uh, if you have green apple, you don't need to buy a new green apple kind of thing. Okay, all of the colors I've already gotten confirmation from both factories. All of the colors will be matched to our current number names, current names and current uh, colors. Now, the outside of the boxes are probably, or the, the containers are probably gonna change. Uh, so uh, just be warned on that. But other than that, everything will, the colors will remain the same. Okay, and then eventually we'll get to add new colors, which is exciting. Um, Oh, Lynn says that I'm a typical mom, a true mom when I get my dog's named up with my kid, my dog's name mixed up with my kids. Yes, I'm telling you, I love this dog. Uh, let's see, uh, I love your banner. Oh, thank you, banner. Look at my banner, Does it? can you see it? It says 10 years. Uh, Kristen on our design team designed that for us and she sent it to us, so uh, we thought it'd be fun to add a banner back there using all of our products except the fabric. The fabric wasn't ours, but everything else was ours, which I love, Kristen. Thank you very much for making that for me. I think it's fantastic. Uh, let's see, will Ocean be back in stock for the Arctic class? Ken, Ocean gonna be back in stock soon? He's thinking. He's gonna look into it. Faylene, write a note for Ken to look to see if Ocean's gonna be back in time for the class. Okay. Oh, Shirley, thank you, Shirley. Um, what? Ocean no, Ocean Cardstock or Ink? I think it was Ink. Whatever's out. I don't know. She didn't say. Uh, Shirley, I hope you saw my other live when I talked about the Diet Coke thing you bought me because um, I practically cried. I've shown it to everyone. I, I meant to bring it today, but it's at my house. Um, but thank you. Um, let's see. Uh, uh, thank you, Carol. That was really sweet. Thank you. She's just being nice. Um, will the inks, Lisa, will the inks remain in a foam pad? If they don't, I'm just going to like have a heart attack. Yes, I'm, I'm going to do whatever I can to make sure it's still a foam pad. I love that foam pad. I don't care what I have to do. Pretty much I'll do anything to make sure we stay on a foam pad. So that's one, that's actually the main 
issue because I know both factories can match the ink. That's not an issue because they're they're professionals. Uh, but my issue is the foam. So I have some. Yes, that is yes, definitely. Um, so somebody's saying that uh, Dragon Force Fan 999 is saying good morning. This is your first live video event. Thank you, thank you. This is uh, again. I want to kind of go back a little. If you're joining us late. Uh, that's okay. It's going to be buffering later and you'll get to watch the entire thing all over again. Pretty soon we're going to get to what we're supposed to be doing, but I wanted to give you all the stuff. Uh, sometimes I do no makeup Mondays, but sometimes my no makeup Mondays show up on Sunday or Tuesday or whenever I have a chance and I call them no makeup Mondays, uh, because I just do it from my home at my dining room. Well, not, I don't have a dining room table at my, is it a kitchen table, Kenny? What would you call that table? I don't know. What do you call it when it's not in the kitchen and it's not in the dining room? We don't have a dining room anymore. Um, it's my table, the table at my house. So uh, I just turn on my laptop and turn on my phone and I do quick little lives, just updates and stuff. This is a real online event, meaning this is what we do when we do our online classes that you pay for and get products sent to you. So we wanted to show you, those of you that have never taken one of our online classes, we wanted to show you kind of what it was like so you could get an idea. So eventually we're going to have three cameras. I have one in front of me, one off to the side and one up above. When I get into making the card, you'll get to see that back and forth. So it's, it's a lot more professional. Not that I'm very professional, as you all know. Uh, it was funny, one of my good friends, and I shouldn't say his name because that'll get me in trouble, but one of my good friends uh, called me a reality crafter. And I really like that. I think that really uh, shows a lot. It's true because it's reality. I, if I lose something, I, I don't, we don't edit that out. We don't, I, we don't you know, I mean, I want you to see I'm just a real normal human being. It's so cute when you guys will see me at a show and you'll go, oh, you're, you're famous. No, 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 not at all. I'm just some crazy lady that you watch on your iPad or TV or something. I'm, I'm, I'm totally just a normal human being, totally. Especially when you see me in the bathroom, because I, I run into people a lot in the bathrooms at these events, and they're like, whoa, I'm all, yeah, <laughs> that's just me, I'm just normal. I'm just a regular person. So uh, Lisa's on her road trip. Um, thank you, Diane, saying that our online classes are awesome. Uh, Dina, if your video is flickering, try to refresh or try a different browser. So, so far we're going good. So if any of those are going, if you're having issues, it could be your, on, your, your internet and it should come back. Um, let's see, let's see, watch you on the road trip. Hi, Flora, okay. Where was I? Reality, we don't edit anything out, online class, uh, online videos, so I like to share a lot of my life about, about myself. Uh, oh, so when Katie and Kirsten, Kirsten and Katie, uh, were, when we started the company, Kirsten was 16 and Katie was 12. They both worked for us throughout that 10 years. Um, not as much now because they have their own lives and people say, oh, are one of them going to take over the company? No, uh, this is my dream, not theirs. Uh, Katie's shown some interest every once in a while, but right now she's off ex exploring her own world. I want her to do that. They both n could step in at the last minute if they ever needed to and continue. So if anything ever catastrophic happens, uh, they could definitely come in and jump in right away. Uh, we have it set up that they could do that. But they have their own lives. They're both very, very happy. They have, over the, over the course of the 10 years, worked for us. They've gone to conventions with us. They've packaged for us. They've labeled things for us. I've even had my nephews label things before when we were desperate. Uh, Kirsten actually used to run our manufacturing division um, back when we were at the other warehouse. And she would literally ran it. Uh, she worked for us uh, close to, was it full time ever, Kenny? Full, full time when she was going to college? I don't think it was full, full time, but it was pretty close. She always worked while she was going to college. Uh, my kids always work um, no matter what. Uh, we have a rule at our house, if you're not working, you're in trouble. <laughs> so they always, they've always had some type of job, uh, whether it be for us. Okay, Ken, Polly's calling you. You need to come over here now. Uh, Kenny, can you come over, please? They want to see you. And let's see. Let's see. Uh, Dina, I need you to work on some of these comments. We're getting some um, comments that we don't need to see. So if you could pull those out. Uh, let's see. 
Come on. I know it's hot. <laughs> you jerk. <laughs> He's always hot. So, okay, those of you that have never seen Ken before, this is Ken. Uh, he is my first boyfriend. Now Cookie's getting all excited. Hang on. She's all, Daddy's here. Uh, I married my first boyfriend. I don't know how many of you knew that. Uh, say something. What do you want me to say? I don't know. <laughs> say hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. We hope you're having a good time. This should get fun eventually, right? Are we going to start creating or are we just going to... Shut up! <laughs> I, he knows I like to yak. He's like, everybody kept asking me, how long is it going to be? And I'm like, you know me. Once I turn on the video, you have no idea how long it's going to be. I have no idea how long it's going to be. So tell, tell them something. Tell them your, your favorite stamp set. My favorite stamp set would, uh, definitely has to be birthday for Cookie. Yes, that's our most popular. <laughs> Say hi, Cookie. And the dies, yes. And the and dies. Uh, yes, those are our yes. favorite. See, they're saying hi to you right but now. But all the new stuff is really fun, too. And the new stuff coming out later this month. Oh, yes. We're going to show you a couple <laughs> sneak peeks. Um, so does anybody have any questions for Ken? This is your last chance to ask him a question. Beautiful couple. Thank you, Anita. Um, hi, Ken. Waving to Ken. Hi, Ken. Uh, let's see. Uh, hi, Kenny. Oh, somebody called you Kenny. Oh. <laughs> uh, he works so hard. Yes, he does. He does work very, very hard. How many hours of sleep do you get every night, babe? Mm. A couple days ago, I got like 10 hours. Okay, that doesn't count. A couple days ago. How many, how many hours did you get last night? Mm, like four. That's actually a lot. That's a lot and for I him. And you took a nap. And you took a nap. So Dang. Like See, he was lazy. We kind of took half oh, of the day off. Oh, the, this month's club is going to be a couple days yes. late because I mailed them on Sunday. But that was Sunday, so they won't move. And then Monday was holiday, so... Everybody's got to be a little extra patient this month. Yes. They did go out. They did go out. They go out on Sunday no matter what. Uh, let's see. Anybody? Uh, are you talking to Stephanie? Oh, are you talk taking Stephanie to Olive Garden tonight to celebrate? <laughs> no, tell them what we're doing for dinner tonight. Tonight's date night, keep in mind. What are we doing for dinner well, tonight? we took the day off yesterday, so that means we have to work extra long today, or at least I have to. <laughs> I worked yesterday. I worked a little, for a couple hours well, yesterday. Oh yeah, we didn't work very much because no, we didn't come to we the didn't. office. No, we didn't come to the office, yeah. So we have to make up for a little bit today because we go to travel tomorrow night. Yes, we leave tomorrow for Boston. Uh, so what? tell them what's for dinner. You know what's for dinner. We talked about it, remember? Are you going to Costco still? I, I'm supposed to go to Costco if we remember. I'm supposed to go to Costco and pick up a rotisserie chicken. Yum. That's dinner, date night dinner. Cookie's favorite. It, yeah, Cookie's <laughs> favorite. If we remember and if Ken gets home, what time are you expecting to get home tonight? I don't know, six, seven. Oh, that's not bad. I was expecting eight. So, okay, you can go now. Bye. Um, bye. I love you. Uh, oh, Diane said that you signed her up when she first started for the Die Hard Club. Vicious Glitter says Maui. Yes, Maui is coming. When are we going to Maui? In October. That's our last day. Um, our, la our last travel day is a Saturday night, and then Sunday morning we leave for Maui, which will be nice. Um, uh, Betty wants to know if uh, the weekend's new releases will be at the Expo this weekend. I'm asking you, babe. Ken. What weekends? Uh, the, the, the gingerbreads. Yes. Gingerbreads will be... Come by early. But come by early because we're probably going to run out. Uh, let's see. Uh, okay, great Costco dinner, yes. Um, Costco chicken is, is awesome, yes. We'll probably end up, oh yeah, and Lynn, oh my gosh, Lynn, you have a good memory. Lynn's like said, don't leave the groceries in the car because I've done that. I one time went to Costco back in the day. I'm dying, Kenny. One time I went to Costco, bought a whole bunch of groceries, went home, went upstairs to go back to work, forgot all the groceries in the trunk until the next day. I cannot tell you, and we will not talk about how much I had to throw away, it was awful. So I'm not allowed to grocery shop anymore. Now, think about that for a second. No dummy, because now I don't have to grocery shop. Who do you think does the grocery shopping? Kenny does. But I do my own laundry now, Ken, huh? Which is a big deal. And I washed all my whites the other day and there was something blue in it and all my whites have blue in it. Oh, okay, let's see. I think we need to get started. How do you know? Tammy wants to know. Tammy Snide, Phelan, write this down. S-N-Y-D-E. Tammy wants to know if she's in the gold club. S-N-Y-D-E. Phelan's going to look up. Uh, 
Okay. Thank you for loving my haircut, by the way. It is a lot shorter, and normally it would be cooler. And you know what? I wish I had a ponytail right now, but I don't have any ponytails at this place. Okay, let's jump. Yeah, is that a yes? Yes, you are, Tammy. You are, or who was it? Oh, yeah, Tammy, you are a Gold Club member. That means you're getting a 20% discount when you see us in person or when you go on our website. Because that means you're in the Die Hard Club and the Kit Club. Okay, let's jump in. Oh, we're just getting started, sweetheart. She said, is it wrapping up? We haven't even done anything. I've just talked this whole time. Okay, so let's jump in. Those of you that are club members, I think I talked about everything I really wanted to talk about. Those of you that are club members, my stamp club members got this cute little stamp set. Oh, Kenny, you wanna do the overhead so they can see the overhead shot? Uh, my stamp club members got, the, and my diehard members got this in the mail, free. My kit club members got the dies that match and dun, 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 our first ever stencil sent to them free. My gold club members got all three free for today's event. Now, if, you were, if you're not in the gold club and you needed to get one of those, you can still purchase them, I'm pretty sure, on our website. Uh, I'm telling you that Toucan is too cute, right? Now, we're gonna make a card uh, oh, Dina says she's under my name now. That's interesting. Dina had issues with um, her login, so she's going to be under mine. So if you see Stephanie um, answering, it's really Dina, my right hand. So, okay. What we're going to do is we're going to make a card, and I'm not even going to show it to you yet. Over the overhead, you might be able to see it. But we're going to jump in and make a card. Yay! Now, what we're going to do, and keep in mind, this is how we do our online classes, our real classes that you pay for. So we wanted you to see an idea of what that looked like. So uh, you can see that. I have that up there. I'm getting the most important die you will ever own in your life. We are coming out with a new version, a Stamps of Life version. So be prepared for that. It's coming soon. Those of you that bought it on HSN when I went on, it's the one that has the swirl background die. So if you have that, you were able to get it. They didn't order very many and we sold out almost instantly. That might have been the one I wasn't even able to take on the air. I don't remember. Or maybe it was Elegant Edge. I don't remember. But anyway, um, this is the die you have to have because it makes the perfect A2 size card. How many times have you taken a piece of cardstock like this and you've taken it to your cutting trimmer and you've cut it in half perfectly then you've taken it to your scoring tool and you've scored it in half perfectly to make the perfect a2 size card you folded it together and the corners did not line up that oh Katie's calling hang on hey Katie hang on hang on you're on speaker because I'm doing my online event so how are you oh okay never mind I can't talk oh why what were you want me to do Oh, you need to book a flight to Miami. When do you want to go? We'll do it in about an hour. When do you want to go? Okay, that's fine. Tomorrow night. Tomorrow night. Oh, see, she's yeah. going. Okay, uh, we'll do it after our long, online event. Say hi to all our club members and all our customers. Hi, everyone. Um, this is Katie, the one that's going back to Miami. So, okay. So they're all saying hi to you, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Okay. Okay, love you. Bye. Bye. Okay, sorry. When the kids call, you know, that's one of the few things you, times you have to answer, right? Because you never know what's going on. So. You fold that card together to make the perfect A2 size card and the corners do not line up. It's a conspiracy. I don't know what it is. That's why you need this die. It's the die you have to have. Um, currently, we have the Sizzix version on our website until that sells out. It ends in number 143. So it's 660143. I don't know any of the numbers, but I know that one because it's so popular. We're going to lay this down. We're going to put it a little bit at an angle and we're gonna run it through our machine. Now, our dies will run through any machine that takes thin wafer dies, okay? Any machine, our dies will fit. As you know, I am under contract to continue using this machine. Uh, once my attorneys get me out of the contract, I'll no longer be using this machine. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna fold this in half, dun dun dun, dun the perfect A2 size card. Is that like fantastic or what? The corners line up, it's perfect. Now, I got that, I don't know why I have that, okay. So, there's our A2 size card base. We're gonna put that off to the side. And Gina says she loves how I keep it real, yes. Um, let's see, uh, we're talking to buying that rounded, oh yes. Uh, Jay Hanneman um, bought the sister die to this, the rounded corner one. And I thought I had that one, I wanted to show it just because I don't have it. But it's the rounded corner one, I, I put it somewhere, I had it handy. But 
It's the rounded corner one, so it's the sister die to this one, but it has rounded corners. So you don't have those little jagged edges when you use a corner rounder. So that's that one. Now what we're gonna do, and I believe this was already done for me because I have an amazing team. We have just a four and a quarter by five and a half minus an eighth of an inch all the way around here that we are going to use. So I'm just gonna cut, uh, this is mint chip. I'm just gonna cut my mint chip and now, I am going to get a piece of scratch paper. Uh, I usually really like to use scratch paper. Oh, look what I did. Have you seen this yet? I made this, uh, and it's in the video for the stencil video, but look how gorgeous that is. We're gonna use that stencil today. I wanna leave that there, but I'm going to get a piece of scrap paper, and I wanna use real scrap paper. I don't wanna use a brand new piece because I'm cheap and I don't wanna do that. Um, uh, just wait, the fra the, the fragmented hand, just wait, okay? Can you wait just a little bit longer? And we'll hopefully be announcing soon what machine we recommend, just saying. Um, round Shirley says the rounded corner is her favorite base, yes. Um, Karen uses the Gemini. I've heard great things about that machine. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we are gonna grab our stencil and we're gonna lay this down here. Hang on, I gotta put this over here. We're gonna lay this down. now. This is what I like to do, and I'm gonna tell you a secret, okay? First of all, normally you wouldn't cut this until after you've stenciled, okay? So you stencil first, then trim it down. We have dies that do this rectangle if you want to. Now, I am using washi tape right now to tape this down. However, Tiffany and I are working on a product together, so don't do anything else. You don't need to buy the aerosols. Aerosols are bad for the environment, I think, I don't know. but. Hang tight, we're coming out with a new product. We're really excited about it. Uh, I'm working on the art for it right now, so just be prepared. So right now I'm just using uh, washi to tape that down. Now what I'm gonna do is I am going to grab dun, 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 my, whoops, sorry, cook. Mm. Hang on, cook, okay. So I'm gonna grab, now somebody emailed Faleen the other day and asked about what I'm storing these in. These are Tiffany's stamp and, sto stamp and go, it's stamp and store and go or something like that. The thing I like about them is they have the tray. So I'm going to grab one of my brushes. I, and I meant to, remember how I said with these brushes, these are the Picket French, Picket French, Picket Fence brushes. Uh, they are made with bristles. Um, the bristles are made out of plastic, not hair. So they're not makeup brushes, but, um, I said I was gonna put washi tape around these and I haven't gotten around to it yet. But I'm going to grab my green apple and see, again, my little mini inks fit in here, which is fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna grab my green apple. I'm gonna lay this down and I'm a little concerned that that green is gonna, am I good, Kenny? I'm a little concerned that green's gonna move, so I'm going to put a little, remember, we're coming out with something for, that's better than this. But it's gonna be a while, so just hang tight. So I just taped that down a little bit. So now, I'm very energetic, thank you. It's lots of caffeine, let me tell you. Uh, Lynn, you have to run, that's okay. You're gonna be able to watch it over and over again. Oh, oh, and I forgot to tell you this. Lynn, before you leave, wait, wait one second. We're gonna do some drawings, but I told people, which I probably shouldn't have, but I told people if you couldn't watch this live that you would still be entered into the drawings, and we couldn't figure out how to do that. So, what you're gonna do, whether you're watching this live or taped, you're going to post a comment. Just post any comment. We're gonna give away 10 prizes next week. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take all the comments that are placed now during the live event and within the next week. So if you watch this within the next week, your comments will be added into the random number generator is what they call it. And you will be entered to win 10 prizes. What are the prizes? I, haven't know, I have no idea yet, but we'll figure that out. So 10 prizes, so please feel free to comment, chat with each other, ask questions, anything like that. Uh, yes, we do have an on, a date for the October class. Uh, when's the October class? Is it the 8th? Faleen's looking. I'm pretty sure it's the 8th. Dina might jump in. Uh... Dina, jump in and tell us what time, what day the, um, I think it's the 8th of October. 8th, 8th, it's the 8th. And it's now available on our website. So uh, we've, we put it up quietly yesterday on our website, 
but uh, it is limited. It's limited on how many people can join. I mean, can sign up because we only have X amount of product. So just heads up. That's the Arctic Animals class online event. So, and you can watch it taped too if you can't join us. So what am I doing? I am taking my little mini ink pads and you can see there's always dust on these because I use different blending things and they just always get dust on them. Always use a different ink pad for your brushes versus your stamping. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start off at the edge and I'm just going to start going on this. I'm just running it around, circular motion. I like to do a circular motion. Grabbing some more ink. Now our team originally chose the green apple, but you know what? I'm gonna throw in a little surprise and add some more colors. So we're just gonna go around and around. I'm doing mostly the outer edges and I'm trying to see, um, Karen, you haven't missed much, just missed me yakking. Um, Art says he's waiting for my version of A2 die coming soon, don't worry. Uh, we released it at HSN, but coming soon if you haven't got it, don't worry. Um, yes, so Sherry, as long as you post a couple comments, you're going to be entered um, to win. Also, I need you guys to press underneath the video, I need you to press share, okay? Please press like the video, that you like the video, and then please also press share, okay? Because the more people that share it, the more people that will see it, and we appreciate that. Anytime you see one of our posts, please always do share because we like that, that helps us number wise, like computer wise, I don't get it, but okay. So now what I've done is I've just gone around mostly the edges, I have not done any here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover that because of my heavy lights, and I'm gonna grab some yellow. I'm throwing everybody off. Now, I can clean this off just by going like this. You'll see that very little ink stays, because it's a plastic bristle, it doesn't absorb it. Like the makeup brushes are gonna um, absorb the ink, whereas this literally lets go of the ink. So it's a little different than what other people have. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab some yellow, and I just grabbed the same, color, same brush, because I cleaned it off, but you can see it was already almost clean. So I'm gonna grab some yellow, and I'm going to go in the middle. I'm going over a little bit of my green, going over a little bit of my green. The cool thing about this is you can't go wrong. You cannot mess this up. That's what's cool. Um, thank you very uh, for saying you love the Die Hard Club. Thank you, Sarah, for sharing the video. Gloria says she's gonna get the brushes soon. You notice I'm not even looking at what I'm doing here. Um, do I have a new HSN date? I do not. Feel free to email them. They have not placed a new order. Okay. So now we have this, and this is where the magic comes in. Now here's the example of the one I did before. I did the whole stencil. Our stencils are five by seven in size. So if you, actually they're a little bigger than that. So you could do a five by seven card. Uh, I wanna start doing bigger dies soon, so get a bigger machine. If you're gonna buy a machine, make sure it's a nine inch machine opening because we're gonna start having more and more dies that are bigger. And I wanted you to be able to cover a whole five by seven if you needed to. So our, our stencils are five by seven. A lot of them, uh, other companies do six by six. Not very good for card makers. Five by seven is a better size for card makers. Okay, now this is where the magic happens. So what we're gonna do, and I highly recommend you use um, washi tape, or you can even use painter's tape. Look at how gorgeous that is. Whoops. Look at how good. Can they see it, Kenny? Ooh, isn't that pretty? See the yellow where it matches the green? Isn't that pretty? I love it. Now, if I wanted to, I could also go over the edges. So I'm going to grab some green. Get rid of my yellow. My yellow's already gone. I love that. I'm going to grab some green, and I'm literally just going to go along the edges ever so lightly. Um, let's see, the first club month, awesome. Okay, let's see, I'm trying to read this while I do this. Uh, oh, we are coming out with more stencils, by the way. Somebody asked that. We are coming out with more. I just designed, and Dina hasn't even seen them yet, I just designed six new ones that we're gonna start releasing. Ideally, I don't know, you guys tell us. Post in the, in the comments. Do you want like one a month? Do you want two a month? Don't say 10 a month, because I can't do 10 <laughs> but at one time. But let us know if, you, if one a month is enough. Somebody asked. Oh, good question. Somebody asked if we'll ever be releasing stencils in the club 
Kit Club shipment. Okay, I hope you got that. Those of you that are watching uh, and can't watch, I shook my head yes. Okay, so yes, yes. Every once in a while, we're going to throw in one of those, which is really exciting because they're kind of expensive. <laughs> I mean, they're not expensive. They're, they're cost-wise for us. Um, we sell them um, on our website for $6.99. Club members obviously pay less, but uh, it's an expensive item to add into the kit. We are not raising the price of the card kits, but every once in a while, don't tell Ken. We're going to go over our budget. Dina and I have a budget that we do. We're going over our budget to include these once in a while. Just saying. Just saying. Uh, and they'll probably be, I, Dina will have to confirm this, but it'll probably be exclusive to the kit club because that makes it even more fun. Okay, look at this. Did you guys see this? Okay, so now I added the edges. Hang on, I got to get into the camera. So now I added the edges. And this is where we see if Ken's paying attention because he'll switch to this camera. And we're adding the pretty edges. So there we have our stenciled background. Yay! Now what we're going to do is we're going to stamp our little toucan. And we're going to stamp our little words. So I just have a little uh, uh, scallop circle. And we are going to get some... See, now they cheated for me. Isn't that nice? best team ever, right? But I'm going to stamp them for you because I want you to know I do know how to stamp. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to get out. Oh, sorry. I, Tiffany, as you all know, Tiffany from Totally Tiffany is my best friend besides my kids. Uh, she's my best friend in the industry. She is the coolest chick ever. Now, I never use the word chick, so that's weird that I even said that. But we went to China together last year. We were going to go to China. Hey, Faylene, I need water in this. Can you throw some water in this for me? This one has some. Um, I, these just sit here and they dry up after a while. Thank you. Uh, oh, this one has water. Oh, yeah, yeah, I still need that one. That's the, that, I still need it. Uh, so Tiffany has these cool, and this one is Terry, the Terry bag. It holds the taller markers. I keep all my coloring tools in here. So I have my long markers. I have extra, uh, I even have more of the water brushes. So, oh, here I have another water brush. I keep the water brushes in here. I also keep my archival ink pad for coloring in here. And I should have a block in here, but I don't. Thank you, dear. Uh, so I have all of those. So I'm going to grab that. And I'm going to find my stamp set. Where'd my stamp set go? Oh, here it is. OK, now, this one's brand new. I just pulled it out of the stack over there. The first thing you have to do, and this is a law, by the way. This is a Stamps of Life law. You must smell the brand new stamps. <sighs> oh, so Wendy wants to know how I clean it. The stencil, you can use soap and water or a baby wipe, either one. Uh, baby wipe's probably easier. I don't have any baby wipes here, so somebody will have to do it later for me. But um, Gloria says, Stephanie, can you do more... Uh, YouTube with Tiffany. Yes, we have to do that. Um, she was actually in California and she didn't come up and see me. I'm kind of sad. She went to saw her mom. But okay, smell the stamps. Everybody tell me that you smell the stamps. Oh, okay, now I'm going to peel this off. Uh, Shirley, we use, um, you can use, whoops, well, you can use for the stamps, I, I mean for the uh, stencils, you can just wash it under cold water and lightly towel it or uh, baby wipe, either one. So I'm taking my toucan. And remember, this is a brand new stamp set. So what am I going to do first? First of all, archival ink is going to stain your stamps. You can still stamp in yellow, don't worry. But I'm going to ink it and I'm going to stamp on scratch paper first. I'm using my stamper secret weapon below me and I'm pressing. That's the first stamp. Now it is perfectly, uh, what do you want to call it? It's perfectly conditioned. I see online people say, oh yeah, use sandpaper, don't. Or do blah, blah, blah. No, no, no. I just condition it. It's done. There's, there's no extra soap on them. They rinse the, the stamps when they make them. People make up the weirdest things. Okay, so I'm going to press that down. I'm pressing on the back of the stamp like normal, lifting up. Perfect. Our stamps are made in the U.S. Highest quality photopolymer, so you're good to go. Now I'm going to grab this one. And I need a smaller block. Uh, oh, here's one. That one's a dirty block. Hang on, let me see if I can find a... See, I have blocks down here. Tricky, tricky. So now I'm going to add my little flower. I'm going to ink this baby up. And I'm going to stamp him. And I should have stamped on scratch paper first. I forgot. And we're going to just leave those. They stamped me some extra ones. Then we're also going to stamp. So I'm going to put this one off to the side. 
and we're going to get the what am I getting toucan toucan is going to go oops that's not gonna fit <sighs> toucan oh you know what oh here they gave me a little banner so it's just a little string and I'm trying to watch your comments everyone I do know Dina is answering as me as needed so I'm stamping on scratch first now the one you stamp on scratch is usually perfect as well but I just want you to know that you don't have to I mean you'll want to do that no matter what so I'm gonna press lift up there we go and then lastly I'm also going to stamp we used almost this whole thing which is kind of cool now we're also going to stamp uh, party better than one so I'm going to stamp on scratch first perfect ink again and stamp on this cute little scallop circle right there and lift up perfect 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 put that off to the side close this because I always put my other stuff into it put that off to the side how you doing cook you getting hot you doing okay can they see her Kenny yep. you doing okay you my good doggy you my good doggy tired lady uncle die night okay so now we have that now what we're going to do, we're going to move that off to the side a little. Now what we're going to do is, I'm trying to look at your, uh, oh, the, yes, the picnic table fold, it's back in stock, everyone. Um, have you ever tried conditioning your new stamp with Versamark? You don't need to. You don't need to. No reason to. Uh, 10 years is awesome. Thank you, Susan. Uh, congrats on 10 years. I love my picnic uh, fold it. Where can you buy my stamps? Roseanne, you can buy my stamps on our website, thestampsoflife.com. Uh, also, go check out our club because if you're new to us, you'll definitely want to join the club because it's awesome. Just read some of the comments about our club. You get 15% discount on anything you buy if you're in one of our clubs. Uh, please, everybody, click share, share, share. Um, Terry, some of the picket fence brushes are back in stock. Yes, some are. If they're not, click, um, you could buy the big set and the little set. Those should be still in stock too. Um, Terry wants to know if I'd consider doing more embossing folders. Maybe, maybe. I'm really getting into the stencils right now, but maybe, I'm never gonna say never. Uh, what uh, Sula wants to know what makes me decide what um, to make a fold it die good question usually uh, cuteness <laughs> the cuteness factor for example the gingerbread uh, uh, dies hello the fold it's the card size now we I also when you when we say fold it I'm also trying to say card size because people don't know completely yet what a fold it die is but it's the card size gingerbread boy and girl hello are they the cutest things you ever saw in your life so yes, mostly it's cuteness factor. Uh, let's see, love everything. Nancy, you're so sweet. Uh, Becky said she shared the video and liked it. Thank you. Uh, we are doing more background dyes. Oh yes, more background dyes are definitely coming. In fact, I don't know if one's coming this month, but next month is a really cool one. Okay, back to this. So now what we're gonna do is we are going to grab some markers. This is my favorite way to color, by the way. I know a lot of my team, my design team, and a lot of people I know have the expensive markers. I will be honest with you, I had those markers and I uh, took the education class for them to be certified um, twice. There, it's an eight hour class, I took it twice. 16 hours of education on how to use those markers. I spent approximately five to $600 investing in those markers still did not have the right colors to do what I wanted to do when I wanted to color. So I literally, I don't even know what happened to those markers. Phelan, did I give you those markers? No. Okay, I didn't give them to Phelan, so I don't know what happened to them, but they're gone. Uh, probably lost them in the move. But uh, this is how I do it, because one, it's cheap. Two, it's easy. Three, you don't need any education, okay? And it's cheap, did I mention that? Cheap. So I'm gonna use the piece of acetate that literally came from this packaging. We can use the back. You can use anything. You can use anything that um, is not gonna absorb ink. We sell acetate sheets. You could use one of those. I'm just gonna use this one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to color my guy. So I'm going to add some yellow. First we're gonna do yellow. So I'm gonna add some yellow on there and I know you can't see it so I'm gonna put some white paper underneath so you can see it better. So I have some yellow on there. I'm going to grab, this is just a water-based marker, 
ours, it matches ours. Then I'm gonna grab a brush, a water brush. So Faleen added water to this one, uh, to the other one, but I have water in this one. I'm going to pick up some of that ink. Just pick up some of that ink. And I am trying to watch um, more vertical word dyes. Yes, definitely. And I'm simply going to color. Da, 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 ever so lightly. And then I'm going to, I want yellow feet. Um, I'm gonna get some yellow, get some more color. I'm gonna do yellow feet, da, 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 da. Now, if you get it a little out of the, out of the whatever, don't worry about it. And I'm going to do one yellow flower. Now, this is the trick on watercolors, and I tell this with everybody that I talk to about watercolors. You are going to do this, paint all of it. I call it painting, because I think it's painting. You're gonna paint all of it, and then you're gonna put it off to the side and let it dry. Ideally overnight, because you don't want any wetness on your card, right? Now, so they've already done some for me, but why I want you to do that is because when you come back to it the next day, you're gonna go, dang, I'm good. That's what you're gonna say. You really are, and if you don't say it, then something's wrong with you. I'm just kidding. Uh, it's gonna look amazing. Right now, you're like going, I don't know, I don't know. But trust me, wait till tomorrow, and you're gonna look at it and go, yeah! That's awesome, that's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna color a little bit more just for kicks. Uh, I'm gonna do some black. So I'm gonna, again, on my acetate, just gonna grab some black. And I'm going to double check my marker, make sure it's kind of clean. And we're gonna add a little bit of black. Now, of course, it's gonna turn to gray, that's okay. And we're just going to color this. This, I'm telling you, is the easiest, cheapest, fastest, most awesome way to color, just saying. Now, it's gonna add its own shading. That's exactly what you want because when you're done with it tomorrow, you're gonna look at it and go, woohoo. Now, people ask me what kind of paper to use. I just use our regular white. Remember, cheap is best. Don't, don't, you don't get duped into spending a ton of money on stuff. You're, you're all good, okay? Just have fun with it. There's no wrong way to do this, by the way. So all this shading that I'm, I'm, I'm creating is gonna look amazing, even more amazing tomorrow. So do that, look how cute that is. Look how cute that guy is. Now we need more color, so I'm going to grab this. I wish I had a paper towel. Use your pants. Uh, let's get some red. Now the nice thing about having our markers, you don't have to have our markers, but the nice thing about having our markers is the colors all match the cardstock and the, uh, and the regular inks and everything like that. So we're gonna add this one. Yeah, I'm gonna try to look at um, uh, my hubby. Oh, Shell just said that she just celebrated her 10th anniversary with her husband. That's awesome, congratulations. So I'm just adding, I need more color. And there's no waste on these either, you know? I mean, you're just, you're not, there's nothing to waste, which is nice. So I'm just coloring. Now, I don't know how many of you are actually doing this with me. You might all do it later which is fine, either way works. With our online classes, we have some people do it with us and some people wait and do it later. Uh, there's no wrong way again. Um, the nice thing, and it's so funny, whenever we have people help us at the conventions and stuff, it, they might make a little tiny mistake or something doing something. And the nice thing is, is, this isn't rocket science, it's not brain surgery, it's not heart surgery, it's all good, clean fun. You cannot make a real mistake, you know what I mean? Let's just have fun. There's so much negativity out there in this world, we're just here to have fun, right? It's all about joy, spreading the joy. Okay, so there we have, I need one more color before I'm done. Don't do this like I'm doing right now on my pants. Um, let's do green. And normally I'd have a bigger piece of acetate, but we're all good. So I'm gonna add a little bit of green over here. Dun, 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 dun. Look how cute that is. So when it's dry, yes, you can use the bathroom and just don't flush. Faylene asked if she could use the bathroom and not flush, I said yes. Just go in there and flush later. <laughs> See? I don't care. Okay, so now we have that. And let's see. Uh, we are going to die cut this. So normally I would take these and die cut with the dies, but I'm gonna die cut the ones they've already um, cut for me. I mean, the ones they've already stamped for me because um, this one needs to dry. But you'll see, I'm gonna leave that there just so you can see it. Uh, so I'm gonna die cut these, and I'm gonna make two toucans. I'm going to die cut two toucans, one. And we're gonna die cut the flowers, two. And the flowers, you're gonna say, oh, it doesn't line up. Trust me, it does, okay? Just keep going. 
Um, trying to see if, okay, I'm gonna cut out all these. Okay, so we're going to lay this down. Now, if you have your magnetic platform, and I hope you guys can see this, see how it snaps to the magnet? That's normal. You're gonna let the die go where it wants, and then you're gonna move your paper, okay? So let it go where it wants. Now, you're gonna say, oh, that doesn't line up. Just keep turning it until it lines up. These smaller dies aren't as easy, and I'm doing this at an angle, so it's never good. Uh, let's see, that looks, Oh, and by the way, guess who has to get LASIK surgery for her eyes because she can't see. Um, so we're going to lay this down. Because I am using a small die, or if you do not have a magnetic platform, you are going to want to use some washi tape. Washi tape. Now, what I recommend you do, and this is not, I didn't do this on my washi tape, but use your least favorite washi tape. <laughs> or you can use painter's tape. But washi tape just brings joy to your life. So use washi tape. Okay, so I'm lining this one up. dun 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 and I'm gonna put that down and I'm gonna run that baby through. Now, smaller amount of dies, smaller cutting pad. We're just gonna lay that down. We don't have to use the big cutting pad and we're gonna run that through. Easy peasy. So I'm gonna try to see. Um, Sherry says, oh, you're still on. Yeah, I'm still on. You know me, guys. I talk, I, I could yak all day long. Thank you for not flushing, Feline. You know what? Sometimes you just gotta laugh, right? It's all about having fun. Failing, do you have fun at work? Of course. See, when I'm around, she has fun. When it's just Ken, I'm not so sure. But I'm not allowed to come to the office, and Kenny, by the way, I did not get lost on the way here today. Um, sometimes I do. Uh, I'm not allowed to come to the office because I move stuff around, and Ken doesn't like that, and I talk too much, which I understand. So I am not allowed to do that. Uh, I'm not allowed to... I, I work from home 95% of the time, and if I'm not at home working, then I'm traveling and working. So we're going to use this. Did you know you could use the cutting pads and the magnetic platform from this company in the Spellbinders machine? Uh, so I'm pulling this little guy off, so we have that guy. What are you doing back there? She made a noise, it scared me. I'm peeling this one off. Sorry guys, it's taking me a little bit longer to cut all these, but it's worth it. So we're going to grab a couple more. We're gonna lay this down. I'm gonna check messages in just a second. Now, smaller die, usually I have a smaller cutting pad. I might have thrown it across the room at one time. I'm looking to see if I have one. I usually have a, ten, a ton. I don't see it, I probably got mad at it. So we're just gonna use a regular one. But what we can do is just lay this right here and then run that through and then run it back. So we get it out fast. So there's one. Uh, let's see. And I'm gonna grab this one. And I'm trying, to, I'm trying to look at your things while I do this. Anita says I'm funny, yes I am. Maria, come say hi. Oh, you can't go in there, she hasn't flushed. But come say hi. Maria's gonna come say hi. Maria packs all your kit clubs, all your diehards, all your stamps. Say hi to everybody, Hello. Maria. <laughs> and she wants to go to the bathroom, but Faylene didn't flush. Now we have a problem because we only have one bathroom. Ken's shaking his head. So <laughs> she didn't flush because it's gonna make too much noise. Oh, okay. So you do whatever you want. <laughs> That's gross, people. Okay, she's going in. She's gotta go. When you gotta go, whatever. It's just potty. Come on, we all potty. Who cares? Okay, so last one. You, it's just stuff you can't make up. Right now, my attorneys are probably watching this and, and another company is watching this to see what I say because they're worried about what I'm gonna say. And they're all going, ew, she's so unprofessional. Yeah, look, what you, look who you're suing. You're suing just some random chick. Okay, so now, look, I got all of those, got all of this. We're gonna move that off to the side. Are you good? She wants to get down. You need to go get down. Go get some water, it's too hot. Go get down. Okay, so now we have all of our stuff die cut. What we're gonna do to this little guy is we're going to trim him, and I have my new cute little pink scissors. Awesome, because they're pink. And we're gonna trim right there, and we're gonna make a little banner out of him. So we're just going to trim right there. Now you could die cut this if you wanted, but I'm just gonna hand cut it right there. And then I'm going to get some yellow ink, so I'm gonna move that off to the side. Don't put it on my laptop. But look how my birdie's getting, the one I made. Isn't he getting pretty? The more it dries, the better it looks. And we're gonna get some yellow. This is the one I used, right? Let me make sure. Hang on, where am I? Yeah, okay. So we're gonna get some yellow around the edges. Actually, I should use a smaller brush. That would be smarter, huh? So let's get a smaller brush. 
Little tiny baby one. Look how little that one is. So, oh wait, is this the right color? This is tangerine. Oh well, tangerine will be okay. So I'm gonna get some orange. Oh no, tangerine's too much. Oh, I got way too much on there now. See how, how fast it comes off though? So now let's grab another one. Let's grab yellow. Banana. Banana. Let's make sure it's clean. Get it all off. See, I didn't even use it and I put way too much on. There we go. See how clean it gets? So now we're going to grab yellow and we're going to go just along the edges. Now you'll notice that I'm putting my finger on top of this to give me some um, weight. You know what I mean? To give me some, if I go like this, then I might don't know what I'm going to get. So I want to put my finger on top. There we go. Okay, put that over here. I'm trying to watch. Can stencils be on colored material? Um, oh, that's an idea. Why? Because you missed it when it was like this? I don't know. See, we like it on the white. I don't, oh, I guess I could do all pink on the back. Remind me, Dina, to put all pink on the back because that's the back, so then they'll see it. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start putting our card together, finally, because, you know, Miss Yaki over here. Yak, 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 move that off to the side. And you'll notice I have an icky right there, but that's okay, because I'm going to cover it. Now, this is the one my team did, and this is the one I did. We're gonna use the one I did because I like it better. Just kidding, but I do. Um, but they colored just the corners. I colored all the way around, and I used two different colors. So I'm going to grab that. I'm going to add some adhesive. Luckily, I have some. I didn't check to make sure I did because we're working at the office today, not from home. We're going to lay this right here. Dun, 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 uh, somebody wants to know if I'll ever do Stephanie's stamp pad videos again. Pr I, never say never. Never say never. But uh, we found that not enough people were watching them. They were costing us a fortune to make and not enough people were watching them. So uh, we kind of stopped doing those, which is kind of sad, I know. Now I'm gonna grab this little guy and I'm gonna, oh, I also have a pink uh, one of these. I'm gonna grab this little guy and I'm gonna add some adhesive to this. And I'm going to add this right here. Dun, 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 dun. And then I'm going to add my white. Ooh, I should, eh, hang on. I'm gonna just go along the edges really close, really small, just a little tiny bit. Inking the edges just literally brightens my day. And with this cute one, now feel free to ask questions and don't forget to share this video. This is an example of what our online events look like when we do the classes. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some of our adhesive foam and make my own foam squares because dun, 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 it's cheaper. I usually use the scraps, but this time, did you flush? Maria, did you flush? Yes. She flushed, but we didn't hear it, so it's okay. Thank you. It's okay. She's all, oh, whoops. It's okay, I didn't hear it really that much. Okay, so I'm laying this down, I'm popping this up. So normally when you have your foam, your adhesive foam, you're making a shaker card out of it and you have extra little pieces, don't throw those pieces away. Cut them up to make pop dots but I just used it, um, I just cut a new one because I can. I, I sleep with my boss, so I get um, free stuff, just saying. Okay, so now I'm gonna lay this down. Two can party better than one. And we have that now. And then we're gonna add our little two cans. Two cans, one is gonna go without a thing. Oh good, somebody says they couldn't hear the flush. Good, <laughs> sorry guys. This is so, this is so, uh, we're so professional. You just gotta love it, right? I, I just, I, people that don't know me and they're watching for the first time, they're going, this chick's nuts. Totally agree with that. I totally agree with that. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, Wendy says the actual stencil in color. You know what, I thought about that at one point, but I kind of like the clear because then you can tell where you went, uh, where you've already inked. And that's what I was mostly concerned about. So that's why it's clear. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna add our little flowers. Now we're gonna add a couple little flowers. We're just gonna add one here. We're gonna add one. So did you guys, did my club members all appreciate the free gifts we gave you this last month? I hope you appreciated that. It was fun to do. Again, this is celebrating our 10th anniversary. Uh, Ken and I kind of can't believe we've already been in business 10 years. Time has gone by whoosh, so fast. Um, my kids are, can't believe it either. Uh, 
which is funny because they were here in the beginning. Uh, let's see, add this one right here. That looks wrong. Okay, let's add that one right there. And then add one more up here. And we're almost done with this guy. Now we're gonna add some cute little, here, I'm gonna put this up here. Whoops, I'm going, whoop. Okay, I'm going to add, whoop. <laughs> okay, now I want to add, uh, oh my gosh, I can't wait for you guys to see the 30 second card for September. I'm not saying a word, not saying a word. Okay, we need to add a bow. So we're gonna tie a bow. Dun, 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 dun. So when you tie a bow, Kenny, can you do the overhead one so they can make sure they see this? When you tie a bow, I get this question a lot. My mom taught me how to tie bows. When, it's a pretty bow. When you have a bow, you're going to start, make a little loop. Now, normally you wanna go in front. No, no, no. To make a pretty bow, you wanna go in the back. Go in the back and around. Fold it with this, watch this thumb. I'm folding it. I'm folding that little, see, I'm folding it. And then I'm gonna grab that, grab this and pull. Then straighten, straighten and pull. Straighten, straighten and pull. Now you can really straighten. Look how cute that is, see, it's the perfect bow. Don't you just love that? And then you're just gonna trim with your pink scissors, pink scissors. And we're gonna trim there, and we're gonna trim there. There we go, oops, it's a little crooked now, okay. Now we're gonna add some adhesive to this. Um, normally I would probably add this one because this is my favorite adhesive for things. So if you're gonna use felt, I like this glue the best. Felt or buttons or um, fabric, anything like that. Uh, you're definitely going to use the best glue ever, which is funny. It's, that's the name of it, best glue ever. Uh, it's awesome. Now, paper, not so much you could use for paper. You're going to want to use the Zig Glue, okay? Just a heads up. So I'm going to hold that down just for a second. And I don't know if I'm supposed to do the inside. Oh, not the inside, but I have some pearls. Where are the pearls? No diamonds this time. Instead, I have pearls. And in just a minute, I'm going to start looking at your questions again before we sign off. So, um... Oh, if you have to step out, yes, Dina posted. Don't worry, this will be recorded. So don't worry, you're, you know. And don't forget, leave a comment if you wanna be entered to win. In um, next Tuesday, I'm gonna pick some winners um, from the comments. So even if you're watching this recorded, post some comments so you get entered to win the prizes. We're gonna give away 10 prizes. And my, I didn't get enough glue on that or it's sticking there, okay. Look at this. Isn't this cute? So here we go. Two can party better than one. It is our 10th anniversary. 10 years flies like no tomorrow. I cannot even believe it. My kids are now 20 year olds, 22 and 26. Uh, one's married, both have full-time plus jobs and I miss them. They don't live at home anymore. I miss them. I don't get to see them as often anymore. Uh, let's see, are there any uh, questions? Thank you for saying this was fun. Go check out our Arctic, our, I always say Arctic, Arctic Animals online class. We're gonna be doing that in October. We, uh, you sign up for it, it costs money, but you're getting a ton of products to make the projects with me or after I make the projects. Um, somebody saying thank you for the freebies. Everybody's posting now. Um, we do, oh, April wants me to mention, we do have a fan club page on Facebook. It's not our fan page, it's actually a fan club page. So I don't talk about it very often because it's kind of weird to say, go join my fan club. But uh, April's in charge of it and April's asking you to join our fan club on Facebook. They post cards, they have some contests sometimes. It's not sponsored by us, but we love that they do it and it's fantastic. So go check that out. Uh, let's see, CJ said she loved it. Oh, some, uh, Vicky's already signed up for the class. Awesome. Uh, thank you. Oh, thank you all. I appreciate it. Uh, let's see. Thank you. Oh, congrats, congrats. Oh, sneak peek! Carrie, thank you! That was the last thing on my list of sneak peeks. So, we're gonna do a couple sneak peeks really quick before Stephanie goes and, um, jumps in a pool somewhere. Um, I had some sneak peeks. Where are they? Oh! Oh! Okay. Well, first of all, this is one. A lot of you missed this one on, uh, HSN. We are bringing it to you now on our website, coming soon. Don't ask, don't send Phelan an email. 
coming soon this month. This is coming this month, I don't know when. Coming this month, it is the Elegant Edge die set. Now, it's awesome because you drop in different dies to have it look like different things. And it has so many dies, it actually has an extra die as well. So check that out. That's gonna be on our website live this month. Also live this month, and it's not gonna look like much, but when you see it, the video in action, you're gonna love it. It is a new insert pop-up. So it's actually a little bit smaller, a little bit smaller than your A2 size card because it layers on the inside. It has a five, one, two, three, four, five, five spot pop-up or a single large rectangle pop-up. So there's two pop-up options. Any of my pop-ups that you've purchased in the past from that other company will fit in here. Again, any of the 3D pop-up insert dies that you've purchased from the other company that I designed will fit in here, okay? You're also getting the five and the big rectangle and some fun flowers. This is coming this month as well, okay? Uh, let's see, so that was your pop-ups. Everybody said they're, they're enjoying it. Uh, yes, here's to another 10 years. I just wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for your support in all the different areas of our company. Uh, we appreciate you watching our videos. We appreciate you being in the club. We appreciate your purchases. We appreciate your prayers most of all. As you know, um, we, do, we do appreciate your prayers by a thousand because that's all we need. We know who wins in the end and that's all that matters. Go out in the world, spread joy. That's gonna be my new on tagline. Go spread some joy because we all need to just be positive and just love each other and just love, spread joy. Thank you so much, my friends. Um, I told myself I wasn't gonna cry, so I'm not gonna cry. But thank you so much for everything. Thank you for your support. Thank you for your love. Thank you for everything. And here's to another 10 years. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.